Ladies and gentlemen, I am Sid Alpha, and yes, as you can see, the week of Alex Maurer soldiers on into its fifth day. Yesterday, I know there was a fair amount more of gossip-style information that probably didn't even need gone over. Today, however, we do have a fair amount of legitimate news in the war that Maurer is waging on YouTubers. However, I wish I could say her actions were any less surprising at this point. First, I would like to take a moment to make you all aware of a situation regarding yet another small YouTuber that has run afoul of Alex Maurer within the past 24 hours. Musical Antihero, a fellow games critic, reached out to Alex Maurer yesterday in order to get her statement in regards to this whole situation. Maurer agreed to a text interview with Musical Antihero and everything seemed to be reasonably normal. He produced his video discussing and analyzing the content of that interview and seeing the video myself, I think he did a better job than one would typically expect. His reasoning was sound and he articulated himself well. I'm pretty sure I even dropped a like and share on the video as well. But as you might imagine, Alex Maurer and her continued complete and utter lack of understanding in what constitutes copyright or even fair use decided to issue a DMCA strike on Musical Antihero's video. Now, I can guarantee, having seen it with my own eyes, that there were none of Maurer's content or even any content owned by Imagos in his video. It was entirely him sitting at his desk and discussing the topic to the camera. It was a FaceTime-only commentary piece that doesn't even fall under fair use as there's no copyright material in the video at all. The entirety of the video falls under Musical Antihero's intellectual property. And as I was recording this the first time, Maurer responded to my querying her as to why she took this video down. In her response, she stated that Antihero had used a photograph from before her gender transition in his video. She continued to say that the picture came from her camera and therefore she owned the copyright to that photograph. And no, I'm most certainly not making this up. I couldn't even if I tried at this point. In addition, Maurer finished off by saying, Also, I've hit multiple people with over three DMCA notifications for my music, and none of their accounts were affected. When I reported the photograph, the YouTuber sent me a screenshot that called it a strike. I had never seen that when reporting music, and I believe the strike system may only apply to visual copyrights, just saying. And in my estimation, it could be possible that Maurer's wave of DMCA strikes might still take the videos down, but YouTube might be intervening at this point. As Maurer has issued, as she's stated, over 100 DMCA strikes, someone at YouTube might have woken up and actually seen something for a change. Of these spurious DMCA strikes that Maurer seems intent on continuing at all costs has grown past intolerable and ludicrous into just outright absurd at this point. Although, in light of some of those channels not going offline, I think there is a far more likely explanation than YouTube actually doing something because, let's face it, unless it hurts them directly, it would be easier to build a nuclear weapon out of used drain cleaners. I finally realized what might be happening, and this might possibly speak to another change in YouTube systems that they once again completely failed to inform content creators of. I was informed via Twitter that Chip Music Chronicle, a channel that Maurer had apparently encouraged to post copies of her music before, has seen five videos taken down in a single sweep recently, and per the message they had received from YouTube, this granted them a single copyright strike. This might be a change to how their system handles copyright strikes in light of waves of DMCA strikes being pushed through by the likes of Alex Maurer and Sega of Japan in 2013. It could very well be that a single wave of takedowns might only issue a single strike to the channel if coming from a single source. Of course, this is purely speculation, but it would explain a great deal, although I don't think you would find any YouTuber willingly attempting to put this to the test. Late last night, I also had a chance to speak briefly with Don Thacker, the head of Imigos Films. And during that conversation, he stated the following that I was able to verify with Leonard French today. We have become represented by Leonard French in this case, and I intend to litigate. I am seeking absolutely no damages in this action, and am seeking only a court-ordered establishment of our clearly defined rights chain and, subsequently, the place in that chain for YouTubers who have been affected. Now, Leonard French will be seeking damages, legal fees, and investment from Maurer to cover expenses, but both Thacker and French have made it abundantly clear that this is merely to establish a chain of custody and reinforce their copyright ownership, nothing more and nothing less. When asked about the YouTubers affected by the DMCA strike and Maurer's actions in general, Thacker had this to say. This most recent action, however, while absolutely not the first aggressive act from Alex toward myself, Imagos, or our properties, has integrated content creators and we cannot abide this. Leonard French also released a statement that is quite lengthy, but it goes into the history between Maurer and Imagos as well as discussing the need for the GoFundMe campaign that was launched today. For my part, I did donate $100, and I will be leaving a link down in the description below both to Leonard's statement and to the GoFundMe. The GoFundMe is crucial. 
I have seen such an outpouring of support for those affected by Maurer's spurious DMCA strike so far, and you all have been amazing. Now, I ask you to be amazing for just a little bit longer. Please help fund this first legal battle against Alex Maurer. It is a crucial and necessary first step in seeing justice served in regard to all of those content creators affected by her actions. If you cannot donate money, then I would ask you to share the GoFundMe on Twitter, Facebook, and anywhere else you might think of. So many have banded together in a show of support, but now this, this is where the real support begins. The battle is far from over, but large strides are being taken to finish it as quickly as possible. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, I am Sid Alpha, and I'll see you next time.